Are you my clone? I can't believe it. Uh, sorry, who are you? Honey, who's there? Mary? What are you doing here? I thought I surprised you. Uh, who is this darling? It's my cousin. Oh my god, I can't believe! What a surprise! I see Fred even got us matching dresses. Well, come on, come on in. We're going to start celebrating. <laughs> celebrating? <laughs> yeah. And I wondered why he bought Doki jeans every time. You can wash your hands right door near the stairs and wipe your hands with the yellow, yellow towel. towel. <laughs> Those IKEA discounts. Honey! Yeah, IKEA discounts. It's swirling water around the train. I was speechless. This woman's house was exactly like the one friend and I live in the next town over. And a blanket of mist around the rain. Okay, take a seat and let's get started. What? <laughs> what are we celebrating? Our son's three months. Oh. Sweetie, come on in and give your aunt a hug. <laughs> my sweetie, my little bunny. <laughs> uh, you're afraid to... But it's okay, you will figure it out when you have your own child. You are not opposed to having children, are you? Oh, no. My boyfriend and I are trying for a baby. <laughs> What's his name? John. In honor of Saint John. The patron saint of the family. Well, Fred, uh, show Mary to the guest room. I'm going to feed this baby. <laughs> Sweetie. It's ready. Mary? Follow me. What the hell are you doing here? How did you even find this house? You said you're going to the other side of the world, but your phone geotech didn't think so. I had to check you out. Mary, what geotech? We have a family iCloud, for now. I forgot, you must have 20 more clones, hey, right? Stop. Look, you have nothing to complain about. I give you everything. Restaurants, shopping, beauty salons. Have you forgotten what a fancy house you live in? Yeah, just like this one. <laughs> just like this one. Love me. I'm just some clone from the next town over. But I love you. No. If your wife had a baby, I'd tell her everything. But now I'm I'm out of here. I don't want to be a part of this freaking circus. Mary, wait, no, wait. I'm leaving. You can't leave. Honey, I'm sorry. I just got call from the work. For God's sake, please stay. My friend has COVID. You'll have to take her place. Uh, to take her place for what? You're going to be our son's godmother tomorrow. What? what? No, honey, I can't. 
I'm his sister. That's even better. The church supports it. Please, I beg you. You're my last chance. And I stayed, not knowing what to do and where it would all lead. Your mind? Are your wife and child are here? Come on, that's what I came here for. This sexy club, I was up for all that. Stay away from me. Slanger is turning me off. Take it off. No. Oh. I said take it off. No. Take off what? Take it off. Well, uh. What's going on here? Mary's put coffee on her. I'm telling you, we can remove the stain easily. Take it off. Then get her rope to change into. Okay. I'm sorry about your clothes. They look great. And your figure sister is incredible. I had the same figure one year ago before I got pregnant. But the baby... Oh, baby? I'll be right back. A year ago, that's when I met Fred. How can I look her in the eye knowing that? No, no, I can't do that. I'll tell her the truth right away. My little bunny. <laughs> Emma, I'm sorry. I can't bear your son's godmother. Really, I can't because... You're nervous, I understand. Hold him. <laughs> look, he's smiling. He doesn't smile a lot. You're a very good person, Mary. I know you are. This is exactly what I dreamed of. Holding a baby and having Fred by my side. But it was like a cruel joke on my dreams. And I'm poor Emma. <laughs> You'll be a good mom. Yeah. And Emma could use some new lingerie like mine. Uh, what? What? You deserve it. Give me your credit card, Fred. Emma and I are going shopping, and we are going to buy the best lingerie for her because she deserves it. And you stay here and look after baby. Oh. But look after him. Be sure, if John cries, you will cry too. Where is your credit card? Uh. Are you against it? Uh, no. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Emma, I'll be waiting for you at the mall. I have some business to do first. <sighs> this was my plan. Emma deserves to be a happy mom and wife. I would help her and then disappear. But I didn't know that my plan was not going to work out. Emma, where are you? Well, what do you think? You look gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, if I only wore a few size smaller like before I was pregnant. What if I told you that I bought you a gym membership? <laughs> My gift for your son's christening. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what to say. I will say. Am I... You're a wonderful mother, wife, and beautiful woman. And any man would be so lucky to have But you. he chose you. What? I know you're not his sister. How? You showed up and my husband started acting like an idiot. And I knew right away. Emma, 
I didn't know he was living two lives. Really, as soon as I saw you and the baby, I wanted to leave, honestly, but then with this christening, I couldn't. The godmother of our son should be a good person. And I know you are. But Fred is not. Emma, why don't you just leave him? That's enough, Mary. I know what I'm doing. And I think this one will do. Are you up to something? Yeah, and I need you to do it. I could have just left like I was planning to. But something seemed to be holding me back. Our boy is christened. I'll put him to bed. I'll set the table then. What we are talking to the priest about for so long time? I was asking if the father of the child could sleep with the godmother. And uh, what did he say? He said it's a sin. I like Emma, I like to sin. Get your hands off me. Try to stop me. Everything has paid for Fred. Honey, I, I was just giving Mary a farewell hug. She's leaving. Let's you will go. tell this to my lawyer. And now you must leave this house. <laughs> well, finally. <laughs> finally, this ridiculous play is over. Mary, darling, shall we tell her? No, Fred. I don't need you either. Emma, we are not just married. You and I are blessed by the church. Our marriage is sanctioned by God. We have the child, don't we? Our marriage cannot be broken. But I... He's right, Emma. He's right. Except for one thing. And that's what Father Green told me. God allows a marriage to be broken if one of the couple is tempted. Well, I see you've prepared well. You've chosen a wonderful life. Really. <laughs> Almost a scene. But you out of luck with your mistress. You have two days to get out of this house. Come on, Emma. Where are you gonna go? You have nothing. What do you mean? We are going to drive the car you bought me, to the house you bought me. We are going to live on the money that I took out of your cart. Good luck, Fred. <laughs> I realized that love doesn't tolerate any falsehood or lies. After all, love is a gift from a higher power, a reward for honesty and a good heart.